Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be trying on every single, or I think every lipstick I have. I might have some more like lingering around, but anyways, this is like my main collection of lipsticks. I do have a lot of like tube lipsticks, and then I'm also going to be doing liquid lipsticks because, I mean, they're both lipsticks, so... How many times can I say lipstick already? But anyways, here's my collection. I have no idea how many I have, but I'm gonna be trying them all on. Okay, where do we start? Let's go through this little thing first. Oh my gosh, okay. First one is MAC Kinda Sexy. Ooh, good one. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit more. And I did pretty neutral makeup and blush. So it'll suit everything, but kind of sexy is just like a kind of peachy nude, I guess. It's classified as a nude. Maybe if you were darker than me, it could be classified as a nude, but it's definitely like a, a peachy pink on me. If you were a summer bride, this would be so perfect. All right, let's keep with the MAC theme. Let's go in with MAC, ooh, Velvet Teddy. This is definitely an OG. This is super popular. I wore this a lot in the fall because it's like a darker nude. I think, yeah, it's a darker nude. This is more like a 90s nude. It pulls quite purple on me. This was like the OG pillow dog. It's like it looks good on everybody. If you were a deeper skin tone, this would be like a nude lipstick on you. Medium to dark. Okay, horrendous job applying, but this is MAC Velvet Teddy. definitely more defining than like a nude nude and yeah really beautiful for the fall if you're around my skin tone all right this is MAC half and half which um it's a little bit it's definitely on like the brown toffee side of things but still classified as a nude definitely not pink yeah it's more like a flesh tone I don't think I've ever worn this one. It's really pretty though. Ooh. That's a really good nude. I didn't even know that really existed. So this next one is Yash, which honestly looks really similar <laughs> to Half and Half, but this one actually has an indent from my lips, so I must like this one. I don't remember ever wearing it though. Okay, this is more of a matte. Yeah, this is a matte. So if you like the look of half and half, but you want super matte, go for Yash. And this is like a peachy brown nude. Super pretty. with Honey Love, which wow, these are all looking so similar. <laughs> I love Honey Love, wear this one a lot. This is a matte and it's definitely nude. But if you use a lip liner, totally perfect nude. I use uh, Charlotte Silbury Iconic Nude when I wear this one and it looks perfect. All right, last MAC lipstick is Angel. And I said this in my makeup collection, but I really just have this for like nostalgia purposes. I don't actually wear it. This is different than I remember. I thought it was like frosty. The fact that it's kind of pretty <laughs> and I kind of want to wear it. Yeah. 
And this is not like a decade old. I just recently kind of got this. You guys, why do I not hate it? <laughs> I mean, I would wear this in the spring. Yeah, I don't hate it. If you're looking for a refresher, what Angel looks like, it's just a really pretty pink. I mean, there's nothing to not like about it. I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's so silly. It's kind of pretty. I mean, hey, I'll wear that in the spring, right? It's so like fresh and girly. Okay, y'all, I'm not mad at the angel. She's kind of cute. Let's do my two YSL Rouge Volupte. This is 44 and this is 123. So this is really pink. And this one is more nude. Yep. And these are both super popular colors. Okay, so for the more, more brown one. So these are more of like a shimmery, like kiss of color than like full on pigment. But they feel so good on the lips and they're really glossy. No staying power, but just not the nature of what they are. So you can see super glossy, super comfortable. It's number 44 of the pink one. And I love this one in the spring, summer. Super fresh and girly. Um, Stephanie Letta on YouTube is just saying that she really loves this one. Totally agree. Honestly, it kind of gives Mac Angel vibes now that I'm looking at it. Doesn't it? Yeah. Get Mac Angel because that's like, what, 18 bucks and this is like, what are they, like 40 something? <laughs> All right, let's go into this Bobbi Brown lip color in beige too. I love this one. I've said before, I wear it to work all the time. I really don't know why. I guess it's just like a work, <laughs> like office color in my mind. And something about like the packaging and being Bobbi Brown just like totally strikes me as an office lipstick and I have no idea why. Also, it smells like crayons. It has like that old lady cosmetic smell that I love. You know. And the packaging is stunning, stunning. This is for you guys, but it's also like a crisis intervention for me because I stay buying lipsticks still, even with all these. And I really have the nerve to buy more nude lipsticks. This is Tarte in the Color Splash lipsticks, and this is Colada. I also got this because of Stephanie Letta a couple years ago. But this is such a beautiful color. If they still have these, I think they do. Um, these are really beautiful, and it's more of like a comfortable matte finish. Like a demi matte. It feels like nothing's on your lips. That's crazy. Now let's do... Anastasia matte lipstick in the color peachy. This is their old packaging just for reference. Um, this is their new packaging, at least as far as I'm aware, which I like because you can see the color of the lipstick. And then this one, obviously you just get lost. So this is peachy. And these are super matte. Like powder matte. Not like dry crepey, but just they like feel powdery. Obviously, I like this kind of color, hey? Yeah, if you've ever used like the Huda Power Matte lipsticks, I love those. They're like the squares. It feels just like that. Like it's really matte, but it feels like dry powder almost. Like you know when you blot your lips with tissue paper and then like after they feel dry but not like crepey? That's how it feels. It's really weird. But anyway, here's Peachy. Really beautiful color. Cute. I like that one. All right, last one for my little side container there is the iconic Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And this looks so purple on me too. I do like it, obviously, but it's like, I don't die for it, you know? 
All right, so that is pillow talk. So this is a little, little mini. This is my only Pat McGrath. This is in 1995. And all of her products do come with this stunning um, little lipstick tube with the lips on it. And this color is beautiful. I probably would buy this in a full size. So much pigment, it's insane. That is so pretty. That would be such a good bridal color. And that's my birth year too. Is that too brown for a bridal color? Because I kind of love it. So shiny too. Okay, anyways. Pat McGrath 1995, Gorge. Jump into the newer Anastasia li uh, tube lipsticks. This is in the color Praline and this is a satin lipstick. So it's quite a bit less dry than Peachy. And this is a nudie pink. Definitely a more on the pink side of things. This is actually probably my newest lipstick. Mm, this is really bright. All right, we're gonna jump into Bite Beauty Power Move Power Move Soft Matte Lipstick in the color Fig. I just hauled this in my Sephora sale haul. R.I.P. Bite. This is such a cute little pink lipstick. And this formula is wild. It is so like powdery and matte, but not drying. And it has great staying power. And this is so cute for the spring and summer. I love this color. All right, so that is Bite Beauty Fig. So beautiful. If you were going on a tropical vacation, oh, it'd be so pretty. All right, now we're gonna jump into my two Marc Jacobs lipsticks. Again, same thing, RIP Marc Jacobs Beauty. I really don't think they're doing beauty anymore, which is sad, because honestly, they were freaking awesome at beauty. Uh, one is No Angel, and then one is Anais. No Angel, again, I got because of Stephanie Leva. Clearly, she influences the heck out of me. Um, this is really, really brown, but it is so pretty with a liner, I think at night, or if you just prefer this kind of nude. Mmm, this feels really soft and smooth on the lips. This was the one with the black pack. All right, other one, this is a beautiful nude packaging. This is Anais. This one, I think I got because my friend Madeline here on YouTube, uh, Madeline Williams, she had this one. So naturally I was like, ooh, I need it too. But I think it looks better on her than it does on me. Now granted, you do need a lip liner for sure. This is probably my most nude. Or you can just put it in the middle of your lip. Same great feeling. Yeah, these are so comfortable. These look super, super nude. Like it blends into my hand. <laughs> yeah, this is pushing like foundation lips on me, but I need the liner and, or you can put it in that middle. But yeah, this is a nice. And then I did find one more lipstick, so I'll show you that one and then we'll move on to liquid lipsticks. This is the Becca Cosmetics in Dusk. RIP Becca, so sad about this one. These line of lipsticks were so phenomenal. They had so many different tones for all different skin complexions. Oh, they smell like watermelon. These are just so good. And Dusk is such a beautiful color. Alright, so 
So for my nude liquid lipsticks, these are what I have. First one is Too Faced Melted Matte in my type. This is a little bit newer for me. This is a really beautiful nudie pink. Go figure. So typical for me, but this formula is so good. It's, I mean, it's a liquid lipstick, so it's a little bit drying, but I think it is probably like one of the most comfortable. Yeah, probably the most comfortable that I have. I only really wear this at night, just cause during the day, I don't think these look real flattering in the daylight. Like any liquid lipstick, not just this. Just a personal preference. All right, so that is my type, Too Faced. This is like the perfect nude to me. Goes with any look. All right, next let's go into an OG. This is Anastasia liquid lipstick in the color Stripped. This is so freaking nude, but I, again, if I'm more fair, I'll, I'll wear this or I'll put it like just in the middle to lighten something up. Can you believe we used to wear this like dead ass in the back in the day? Okay, this shit's dry, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, this is really drying. It feels really thick too. And there's definitely better formulas out there, but this is Anastasia Stripped. I mean, I guess I don't hate it. Oh, ooh. You see that? Ugh. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Not the butthole lips. Oh, God. It feels like tar taking it off. Oof, I'm gonna throw that away right now. Let's try Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the color Fair Game. I think I got this because either Jaclyn Hill or Stephanie Letta. I think the Midnight Twins also talk about this color. Anyways, lots of people love this. It is pretty. Fuck, that's nude. I mean, these are all so nude. I think this is one that people put like in the middle though. So this is probably like another like stripped color. So if you like the color of stripped, um, definitely do this and not the Anastasia one. Unless they reformulated because that shit was rough. I'm not even gonna hold you. Way better. All right, so now let's jump into Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in the color Wifey. And this is a really gorgeous nude. This is really a true neutral. Not too pink, not too peach, not too brown. This is really, really awesome. Probably my favorite liquid lipstick. But this is Wifey by Huda Beauty in the new formula, which is awesome. All right, last one is Too Faced Peach Puff. I do not think they do these anymore. Actually, I know for a fact they don't. I don't know why I always say that. Um, this is In The Flesh. These are so freaking good. If you can find them anywhere, totally grab. They smell like peaches. And they're so comfortable. I used to sell these to brides all the time. Like for brides that don't like the feeling of lipstick but want something that lasts, this is an amazing formula. Because it's like super thin, I think that's the point. Um, it has this little puff applicator. This is the Peach Puff by Too Faced in, in the flesh. It's really pretty. This is... Kat Von D Ophelia, which is a really nude peach, if I remember right. Yeah, this is really pretty. I wear this one a lot at nighttime. Shake a shot every time I say that. Let's start out with Too Faced Sellout. This, I am gatekeeping. Don't go sell it out. It's Ulta exclusive. 
it is the most like beautiful like rose pink it's definitely not nude it's got a little bit more color to it oh i wore it on my bridal chartle that's probably where you saw it i'm highly considering wearing this for my wedding day because i want something with a punch and this is just so pretty so yeah brides out there sell out by two face it's so gorgeous this is another one of those peach puffs this is in the color scary spice this is just like that 90s brick kind of nude so pretty i wear this a lot in the fall i normally wear like peaches and pinks and stuff like that in the spring and summer and then more like brownies oops more brown in the fall. Wow. Again, so that's scary spice. All right, we're diving into my last three, and these are my most wild. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm scared. This is my one and only red that I will wear. I used to be a real ruby woo girly until I found this one. This is Sephora Collection 01 in their cream lip stains. And it's just the most perfect red. All right, that is the Sephora Collection in 01. Again, don't mind my chopped application, but that's so pretty all right last two lipsticks my back hurts <laughs> these are um two deep vampy lipsticks first one is a nars power matte pigment in the color rock with you these are so liquidy so be careful when you open them because this literally will spill out it's crazy but these are so good and the applicator is really really pointy so you could get away without a lip liner i don't even know how to describe this this is like the most brown red rust i don't know it's so pretty it's very like grungy that's why i wore it to a rock concert because i felt like it was like rock and roll i actually feel really pretty in this color which is wild considering how crazy it is <laughs> final lipstick is kat von d in the color vampira this is another og back in the like vampy lip days this is such a this is such a good one this is a very similar color a little bit more purpley and more thin have to kind of go over a little bit more for the nars one you could just do like a couple swipes and it's good so anyway this is vampira it really is pretty but just bad formula bad well throw that out <laughs> i'm throwing back on my ginjo y'all i'm bringing it back saying it now no it would take like Kylie jenner to bring this back or Haley bieber all right guys that's it my lips are tired that's all of my lipsticks thanks so much for hanging with me while i tried them all on but yeah i just really love lipsticks i love um nudes clearly and yeah i just i hope that you enjoy this was really fun to film hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in my next video bye